with y'all. Oz here, back with you with Funky Function Friday. And where have I been? I tell you what, I was sitting here and there was a knock on the door. And it was John Michalutis. He had walked here three hours all the way from Spain. The man was sweating, he was tired, and he sat right back there on the couch. Sat there, I got him a towel, I got him some apple juice and some ice. Got himself together and he says, Oz, nobody's teaching people how to clean data. And he looked me in the eye and he said, Oz, would you please help me spread the data funk? And when a man walks three hours across the earth, you don't tell him, no, can I get an amen? You yeah. don't tell a man, no. So that's where I've been the past month. So John Michalutis and I, we did it. We put our heads down, we developed a course, 100 videos, over seven hours of content. We opened registration a couple of weeks ago. We got some students in, that's been going great and we're gonna open registration again next month. And I will let you know in case you want to get in on some of this funk. So there's one question that's left. Sylvester asked this in 1982. He asked, do you wanna funk? And if you wanna funk, let me show you how. And that's what we're gonna do today. So here's what we're dealing with. We got this column of data. Four hundred and fifty one records. And we would like the name peeled out. We want Harold M. Humans. We don't want the car data. We don't want the age or the repeated last name. Now, I started looking at this like spaces, right? How we can't use text to columns. To peel this apart, text to columns is going to give us problems. And then we have issues with Woodruff III and Darwin Big Red Whitcamp. So here's a solution I came up with. Make a table of the car years. Then look in each cell to see. But then I kept thinking about it. Is there a simpler way? And then I realized these fields are separated by three spaces. So watch this. I'm going to show you two ways how to do this. Here we go. Substitute. Okay. Equal substitute. Mm. Text. Comma. Old text. The three spaces. One, two, three. Quotation mark, comma, quotation mark, plus sign, quotation mark, because. I want to put a plus sign in where those spaces were, but I only want to do it in the first instance. So we got a comma one. Ah, uh, yeah. Now we have a place where if we did text to columns, we could do it right at that plus sign. All right. There's another way. We're going to go to Power Query. Ho! from table. Split the column by delimiter. At the left mode, we're gonna 
custom one two three spaces okay let's get rid of this now we split by the comma by the limiter comma all right now we got some extra spaces that need to be cleaned out format trim good oh yeah now we can merge these two columns highlight this control button highlight right click merge columns and with a separator of a space full name Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Yes, yes, yes. We got them. We got them. Home. Close and load. We got the names. Clint L. Woodruff III. Dr. Aaron S. Wooda. It is, baby. It is. Keep on funkin'. 